All right, hello. Welcome back again to my Let's Play of Pokemon Sapphire. All right, so on this episode, we're going to be heading into Petalburg Woods, having just cleared out Route um, 10. I think this is four, at least the bottom half. Having captured a new member for our team, Lily, the level five Zigzagoon, who I may or may not ever actually use. And let's do this. So probably the thing that I should do first is um, go ahead and attempt to catch a Pokemon. Um, eh, no, I'll just beat this trainer. Hello, bug catcher. I think he just has Wurmples. He might be the Ninkata guy. If he is, I'm kind of kicking myself because I was hoping to use... Okay, yeah, he just has Wurmples. So, this guy is basically the uh, Burn Through Ember Power Points guy, unless I'm lucky and... Oh, looks like Scratch is a one-hit KO. Okay, never mind. Burn Through Useless Scratch Power Points guy. That's good. So I'm not much to say about this battle. There's a guy later on who has an Ninkata, and I wanted to use Wingull against him, uh, Phantasm against him. So, oh, Mikulay evolves in just like three more levels or something like that. So, um, I'm going to catch a Pokemon soon, and I don't really know how I intend to go about this. I think I will go up against whatever Pokemon it is with Mikulay, and, well, uh... Okay, well, I mean, if it's a Wurmple, then I'm going to, like, immediately panic and kill it or something like that. Due to some combination of my not really wanting a Wurmple and my being scared as crap that I will get poisoned by such a Wurmple. Or, I mean, maybe I won't. Uh... Well, you know what? I'm just going to go into this, and I'm going to hope that it is not a Wurmple. And if it is a Wurmple, then I guess I will freak out, but hopefully it will not be a Wurmple. Right? Guys, let's not be a Wurmple. Come on, let's not be a Wurmple. Let's not be a Wurmple, and that's a Wurmple. And it's level 5, which means... It probably doesn't know Poison Sting? I just know this is a bad idea. Why am I doing this? Okay. Use Tackle. That's good. I have one more Pokeball. I can catch it, and if I don't catch it, then it will burn. I'm sorry, but you will burn if I do not catch you. Okay. So I caught the Wurmple. What shall I name? her. I really hope she turns into, uh, dust talks, sort of. Okay. We'll weaken the foe by leaking poison from the spikes, so... Wormple. What shall I call Wormple? Um... A commandment or direction given as a ruler, action, or conduct. See more. A command or direction given as a rule of action or conduct. I don't know, it just it just sounded um kind of cool. So, okay. Um, I want this item. I don't remember what it is, but I want it. I think it's like a potion or something good. Alright, so Shroomish are scary because they have this ability called Effect Spore, which if you hit them with a physical move, which thankfully Ember is not, there's a small chance you will get slept, paralyzed, or, and this is the worst one, poisoned just randomly. So, I kind of freak out when I see Shroomish because I'm never really... Co oh, Paralyze you. Oh, that could come in handy later. Because I'm never really fully convinced that Ember is going to one-shot them, even if I know that it probably will... Because it sort of freaks me out, because I don't remember what status moves they have, and I think that they get poison powder at some point, and that's a really scary concept to me, because um, when they get poison powder, and Mikulay gets poisoned, Mikulay will die, and I don't like it. Okay. Right! Event time! So, I could just let this one speak for itself, but... This is where we first encounter the um, villainous team of the game, analogous to Team Rocket from um, uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, and the original games. If you guys um, have played Pokemon before, and or Team Rocket from the anime. But so, these guys are Team Aqua, and basically their goal is, uh, their evil plan is to um, increase the um, habitats for water Pokemon or something by like making the sea levels They're like pirates. I th it's sort of, it's sort of a sketchy plan. Oh wow, that was lucky. That was a lucky burn there. 
That burn was very lucky. I might beat this Poochiana without taking damage. That was ridiculous. Like... Okay, so this is a Team Aqua Grunt. So basically, he's the lowest of the low in terms of members of this evil organization. As you can see by my having beaten him in a single hit with a fire type. And they're sort of a water type themed team. Which is possibly another good reason for me not to have chosen Torchic. Oh well! Great balls are good, especially since, as you have seen, I am out of Pokeballs. Oh, did I forget to, um... Oh, yeah, I did. Right, I'm sorry. I forgot to, um, go this way, because there's a Pokeball this way, and... <sighs> there's a Pokeball, um, on the outside. There's, an there's another way to exit this forest, and you can get another item out of it by doing this. Which is good because I'm definitely going to need Pokeballs very soon. Because, as you have seen, I am entirely out of them. And I cannot buy more. There are things on the ground that you can't see. There's an item here. It's a potion. That's good. I thought it was like a tiny mushroom or something useless. But out here, there is a lass who you can talk to and... She tells you not to throw Pokeballs at other people's Pokemon. Also, valid advice. And there's a Pokeball there. And so now I have one Pokeball and one Great Ball. Great Ball being the slightly better version of the Pokeball. that goes Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, all the way up to Master Ball, which will catch any Pokemon without fail. You can only get one Master Ball in the game, and it is not for a while, and neither are Ultra Balls, so I guess I shouldn't really be talking about them, but... Okay, what does this guy do? Um, nothing. So, almost through Petalburg Woods, I think. This is the guy that I was talking about earlier with the Ninkata, which means Ninkata is a bug slash ground type. So I'm going to put Phantasm first. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular! He has, I think, only an Ninkata, so this is Bug Slash Ground type. It doesn't really do a whole lot. I think it only knows Leech Life, which is Bug type, and Phantasm's Flying type side resists it. So, this is the part where having been through this game many times before it comes to help me, and I took more damage from that attack than I thought I would. Well, oh well, I can still two-shot the Ninkata and get Phantasm to grow another level. Alright, that's very good. Level 8. Um, didn't learn a move. Nothing interesting at all happened. I can't be popular if I lose. Aww. Um. Right, switching back to Mikale because bug types frighten me. Um, there might have been something down here. I forget. I'm just gonna check. Yep, Pokeball. See, a lot of times when you see that empty patch of grass surrounded by regular patches of grass, that is a pretty good indication that there is something there. Because in the early stages of the game, you don't have an item finder, which would otherwise enable you to locate hidden items like that. And so you just sort of have to guess, and they're kind of doing us favors by making it easier on us in those early stages, like... Oh, this guy has a TM for me. I like TMs. That's Bullet Seed, which isn't entirely the best TM in the game, but it's something to use if you have a grass type. Hang on, I'll show you the move. Bullet Seed. Um, I don't think I have any Pokemon that can learn it, but it's a 10 base power move, hits between 2 and 5 times. It's only really worth it if you have a Grass type, and not very many Pokemon take that TM, so I'm probably never going to use it myself. Okay, but this is what I mean. Do you see this patch of grass? It's filled with empty spaces. Some of them have items in them, some of them don't. I'm going to check them all because I need items pretty desperately because I'm out of Pokeballs, almost. And here is a Wurmple, and I know that Mikale can one-shot most, if not all, of the Pokemon that I would find here. I hope Scratch is a one-hit KO. Okay, that's good. Okay, what's this? This is a potion, which is, um, fine, I guess. Something here. Super Potion. That is a potion, but instead of healing 20 hit points, it heals 50. It will surely come in handy within a very short while. Um, here's another Pokemon. Wurmple level 5. I don't remember when they learned Poison Sting, but I have a level 5 Wurmple, so I can check to see if it knows Poison Sting. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. That was a really dumb... I... 
I'm baffled by the fact that I did that. That was really stupid. And it does no poison sting, so... Um, hopefully I didn't get myself into really big trouble. Um, I hope it doesn't use poison sting, and if it does, I hope I don't get poisoned, because I'm in big trouble if it does and I get po Okay. Oh my god! The universe has decided to spare me for the second time the chance of getting poisoned by a Wurmple, and thank god it did, because I do not deserve being spared like that. That was dumb luck helping out my stupidity. So, oh my god, that was too close. Okay, so guys, don't do that. Don't accidentally switch in your Wurmple when you meant to check its stats to see if it knew Poison Sting, which, by the way, it did. So, Wurmple learns Poison Sting at 5. Now I know. It's good that I know. Why didn't I remember this? So, I'm going to go in the Flower House now. I don't remember what I get, if, if I get anything that's important, but... If you say yes, you learn about berries. She teaches you about berries, which, as I have said, I'm not using berries. But she gives you a thing. She gives you a pail that you can use to water... No, not her. Excuse me, not her. She gives you the pail that you can water the... Here we go. So you use this to water the berry trees that you see um, sort of hanging around. Um, the ones that I'm not picking, that I could be picking if I wanted to use berries, but I'm not going to because I don't. And if you water them, then there will be more berries on them, eventually. Um, and that's a free berry that I won't use. Excellent. So yeah, this is the flower shop. Um, there's not a whole lot that it does, so I'm just going to leave now and continue the inexorable march towards the... Ooh, need to stay carefully out of her sight until I'm ready to, um... I think I can just roast her with fire. Actually, I think most of her Pokemon are weak to fire. Um, she's like a C dot. No, she might be a Zigzagoon person. That's right. She's the one. She's Rich Boy Winston's counterpart. So you remember the guy from um before the forest? I said he had a four restore, but he never used it. She's the same way. I say she has a four restore. I don't know if she'll use it. She definitely won't use it if her Pokemon gets one hit KO'd by Ember. But if that hadn't happened, there was a chance that she might have used her four restore. However, it did. So poor her. Um. God, I forgot about her. Okay, so this is another trainer who apparently can see me from all the way across the screen, which is a little scary, but she's a low tad. I believe I won't be so lucky. I believe at this level they know Absorb, which is a weak grass-type maneuver that steals half of the HP that it inflicts upon um, the opposing Pokemon, and... The reason that I am saying this is because it means I can't just switch in Zigzagoon and completely block all of its attacks like I did with the Wild Lotads. Here we have a Shroomish, which, as I have mentioned, scare the crap out of me. Luckily, Fire-type moves still one-hit KO them without too much trouble, but aforementioned scaring the crap out of me scares the crap out. She shouldn't have battled. Aww. Um... That is a tree that I can eventually cut down once I get the um, hidden machine that will allow me to cut down it. More on that list. So, this is a double battle. It's the first one of the, of the game, and in double battles you send out your first two Pokemon rather than your first one. And... I think they have a Lotad and a Seedot. I don't have a whole lot of Pokemon that can do good damage to Lotads or Seedots, so... I'm just gonna go with it. Let's see how this let's see how this goes. Uh let's see, let's see, let's see. So they have a low tad and a C dot, okay. I can one hit KO the C dot with Mikale. However, I'm more scared of the low tad, because I think the C dot still doesn't know any damaging moves. So I'm not really worried about what it could do to me, I'm worried about what the Lotad could do to me, because I think it knows Absorb or something, so I'm just going to defeat it quickly, and then hope that I'm right about C dot. Okay, it just, it just used Harden, so I can beat it with um, Ember now. I mean, or hypothetically, I could be a jerk and try to save my one Ember PowerPoint, because I will need it eventually. Yeah, or hypothetically, I could just be a jerk. Um, 
Okay, it's using growth. So it does know a move that isn't bide. However, it's a useless move that isn't bide. So Mikule gets a scratch off. And Ginko tail whips. Okay, there's the bide. So, what? Eh, I'm just gonna kill it with Scratch. You know what? I'm just going to kill it with Scratch because I don't trust that I won't screw up because I'm not entirely familiar with the bind mechanics. So there we go. I've beaten the double battle with, I think, no damage taken, which is good. Which can't be bad. Train our Pokemon more. Big girl is strong. We have to train lots more. That's right. Um... What does she do? I don't remember, but I know the um, guy to the left is a trainer. Okay, that's a barrier that I'll never use. Um, the guy to the left is a trainer. I think he has only Magikarp, and I don't think his Magikarp no damaging moves. How close are we to evolving? 374 experience points from evolving. Um, I'm going to try and use Ginkgo first, because I don't suspect his po Never mind, that's a risk I'm not willing to take. Let's go. Let's go, Magikarp Trainer. I'm going to try and defeat his team of water types with a fire type, because I don't think that there are any water type moves on his team, and it's Magikarp, and it's level 6, and I could have seen this coming. Um, what can I do to this? I can scratch this until it faints, because it knows only Splash, and therefore cannot damage me. So I will scratch it some more, and I continue to scratch it, and it gives sort of a really pitiful experience yield, so... These Magikarp, they basically only serve to burn through some of my power points, and I think Mikulay's Scratch is the move that I will end up using the least. Especially once Mikulay evolves, and, spoiler alert, gets double kick at level 16, I think, which will give me more power points that are not Scratch, because Scratch is useless. Well, no, it's not. Oh, critical hit. That, um, saved me no damage. Okay, so, easiest trainer in the game, defeated. So, I got two into fishing, I forgot I had to raise my Pokemon. And there's something this way, and I forget what it was, except I suspect that it is useless. Yep, X-Defend! Which is an item that can only be used in battles, which means for me it cannot be used at all. But if you were to use an X-Defend in a battle, it would increase your defense by a single stage, which is, in all honesty, not that worth it, in my humble opinion. Um, welcome to Rustboro City, guys. So, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I will see you guys next time. This has been Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Thank you very much for watching.